Well, I've had my croissant, and I start thinking of driving to Aldi someplace. So I'll look on the internet and find the closest Aldi, but it may be that on Good Friday, Car Fry Talk, uh, that stores are closed, I really don't know, but in Bavaria, Bayern, uh, special days like Christy Himmelfart and Maria Himmelfart uh, are non-shopping days out of respect for Christy and Maria and I wouldn't be surprised if uh, today Car Fry Talk would be one of those special Sabbaths. So we shall see. I can certainly wait until tomorrow to replenish my croissant uh, stock. I've had a, a lovely croissant this morning after my offer flocken after my muesli after my porridge after my oatmeal and there's still a little bit of spinach spinach left in the pot so I'll eat that and uh, start up the day's uh, sashimi offering. Uh, both kinds. Plenty of wasabi. And we'll see what else I add. Probably a boiled egg. Or two. If I really go for two, I might devil them. Lately, that means uh, Hellman's mayonnaise mixed in with the uh, yolks, crushed yolks, and uh, a little bit, maybe an eighth of a teaspoon of powdered senf. Mustard, Senf, Auf Deutsch. Then I don't get the extra vinegar from the prepared mustard. And uh, last time I made it with two extra large eggs, yolks. Uh, I used, I think, a quarter teaspoon and it was a little much. So I'll try an eighth and a little salt and pepper. Yeah, I look forward to that. That's fun. I think I have four pre-boiled eggs in the fridge. And uh, I think I'll make two of them into devils. Speaking of devils, the world is... Well, I could say the world is full of them, but no, it's more like there's a sufficient supply of uh, psychopathic, power-hungry, I just want to be on top. I want to be the top cat. I want to be able to tweak everybody else's nose and nobody can tweak mine. <laughs> Or as the the other chimps do, I I just want to be able to beat up on anybody. I want to be captain of the ship. I want to be the top cat, the only one that can beat up on everybody else. <laughs> ah. So is our 
Arab Shah. So is what we have inherited from our time, our wild time in the wild world. Those one percent or whatever it is, I saw someplace that one percent of us are psychopaths. Um, that one percent who uh, want nothing more or less than to be top cat. Nothing else is is as important, you know. There's maybe a trophy wife, maybe a mansion, maybe a mega yacht, uh, maybe your own jet, maybe, maybe, maybe. But that's all secondary, as far as I can see. I want to be top cat who can beat up on everybody and whom no one would dare to beat up. Well, <laughs> to each his own. It's certainly not my cup of tea. <laughs> not that I want to be beaten up, and I did. When I was in junior high, I was punched in the stomach by two different guys. One, Patrick Neary, who uh, must have been badly burned as a child or something. His face was an awful mess of scar tissue and He punched me in the stomach on the pathway between the junior high and the, the playing field uh, and said, I don't like you. <laughs> okay, I got it, you don't like me. The other one was some guy, I don't know who his name was, but he'd been a little nasty to me and he was with a friend or two and this was like on my way home from junior high right across the street from the school. I think I was probably headed to go through the apartment complex uh, on my way home and punched me in the stomach. And the closest thing to being punched in the stomach, other than being punched in the stomach, that I recalled is when I received a letter from the girl that I considered my girlfriend, Lois, who was away at camp uh, for a little while, and she wrote uh, me a Dear John letter. Only John was the guy she'd met at camp. Uh, you'd like him. He's very nice. You'd like him. Womp! <laughs> I talked my daddy into taking me there. She had a birthday, a June birthday, like, like Sherry and Donna, um, and me, um, to give her a birthday gift of a nice plaid, red and green or something, shirt. <laughs> I don't know why, I, how I got that, probably from mother, in any case hoping that going there and seeing her and everything would displace John. Well, no, it didn't. End of wonderful, well, not so wonderful, but I never liked the look of her. She had kind of a square, flat face. And I saw her again when I... And, uh, near 2000 she visited me in my office and we hugged and kissed and and said something about how when we were 14 or whatever it was 
14, I think, um, that she felt something stiff down below and wondered, what, what is that? <laughs> when we kissed. Ah, well, such is the sex life of 14 year olds, or at least it was. Now they're probably all pregnant. Okay, that's enough for now. Schluss.